35 years ago this week, a tragedy here in Nashville. For those present that day, it was something so shocking and unexpected, they'll never forget it. Well, as News Channel 5's Forrest Sanders found out, one man is making sure as many people as possible know the story. Brian Deese is one of those muralists that when he finishes a work, oh, people will notice. That's his take on rock legend Jimi Hendrix, country icon Merle Haggard, queen of the pinups, Biddy Page. I am a history buff and with my murals I like to tell stories. But this history buff says there's one story he's never been able to shake. I was a young Nashvillian and saw it on the news and what happened has stuck with me. It's a story that begins 35 years ago, December 19th, 1987. A holiday rap concert was set for that night at Municipal Auditorium. Promoter and owner of the Soul Restaurant John Smith had tickets to go. It was a Public Enemy, Eric B, Rakim, Easy E concert. I was in high school. Rap music was just kind of hitting the scenes then, taking over, taking over the whole world. Belinda Heron's children also had tickets. This is Mika's son, Ronald, and her daughter, Mika. That's Mika with the Afro. That's my baby. Mika was going to the show with best friend Devery Davis. There on the left. Devery was an 11th grader with plans to go into the Navy. Belinda says Mika was just one of those naturally funny people who could have been a marquee name at comedy clubs like this. She can just make you laugh. She's like Monique. I could see her being with Tyler Perry. His shows are funny peoples, and she was like that. As the night of the concert arrived, Belinda says she got a feeling she can't describe to this day. I knew something was going to happen. I didn't know who it was going to be, but I knew somebody was going to die. What happened in the minutes before this? When the concert was over, they said on stage, everybody who want to meet the stars, meet them downstairs. It was a big rush to get try to get down there first. And everybody started going down towards the tunnel. Somebody popped some kind of firecracker. People thought it was gunshots. That's when the stampede happened. The tragic thing, the doors were locked. The people at top didn't know that the doors were changed up. I just remember them saying, one, two, three, push. One, two, three, push. And the people that were up front were pushing back this way and people were pushing this way. It was walls on both sides. There was nowhere to go. People started crying, screaming, crazy, total chaos. In the middle of all this, Ronald found Devery and Mika. The girls had been crushed. I knew somebody was going to die, but I just didn't know who. Lord knows, I didn't know it was going to be my daughter. But people would say, you know, I know how you feel. You ain't been there. You don't know. The next morning, reporters asked why the doors were locked, why the venue only had one medical personnel on duty when the stampede happened. There were interviews with Belinda and Ronald. I feel like they had better protection my baby when they died. This is just one of those stories I want Nashville to remember. And so, Brian paints into cold, windy nights working to this moment he meets Belinda. Hi, Brian. How you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? Oh, I'm, I'm Brian. just so excited. In a story from 1987, Belinda showed an old picture that reads on the back. Friends forever. They died together. My baby. Today. Oh, my God. Brian's newest mural says the same. Hi, Mika. Hi, Devery. We miss you. I think it's amazing to memorialize those two young ladies that lost their lives. I think it's part of Nashville history. The, you know, Nashville has good and bad history. This is one of the bad things that we don't need to forget. I'm lost for words. I miss her so much. But then to even think about my daughter and Devery that way, it's a big deal to me. It's a big deal.
I'm Boris Sanders, News Channel 5. By the way, that mural is located at the corner of 26th Avenue North and Clifton. It's right near the church that one of the girls attended.